Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, chaired the Cabinet meeting today at Qadabi Palace. Following the session, the Secretary General of the Cabinet, Dr. Yasser bin Isa Al Nasser, delivered the following statement. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed to expedite the measures that reduce the impact on shrimp fishing license holders regarding the implementation of decision to prevent trawling. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister also directed to limit the indiscriminate housing of workers and single people and to counter it spread among families in neighbourhoods, residential areas and old and poor condition houses, instructing to adopt an effective mechanism that limits the practice for its implications on social security. His Royal Highness followed up on the progress following his directives to extend the chronological life of food and other strategic stocks, such as oil derivatives, water and medications, and to achieve cell sufficiency in a number of food products. In the interest of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, to support small traders and improve their conditions, His Royal Highness followed up on the implementation of the decisions which achieved the recommendations of the joint study between the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry and the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism. The study was presented at the request of the Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, which rescheduled the arrears of fees and services accrued and accumulated on small traders and providing them with up to 24 months instalments. In pursuance of the Royal Directives of the Government to enhance the possibilities for the effective implementation of alternative sanctions and in pursuance of the Directive of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for the Ministries to develop programmes which expand the scope of the application of the alternative sanctions, the Cabinet reviewed a number of community services proposed for the Ministry of Industry. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister praised the constructive cooperation and partnership between the government, the representatives and Shura councils and directed to continue this cooperation and to dedicate positive joint work legislatively. He praised the achievements of the first session of the fifth legislative term through the Council's review of a comprehensive report, 
supported by statistics on the work of the first session of the fifth legislative term, introduced by the Minister of Shura Council and Representative Council Affairs. The Cabinet approved two recommendations of the Ministerial Committee for the Development and Infrastructure Projects regarding the decisions and recommendations adopted by the Municipal Councils and the Capital Secretariat. The third recommendation related to the construction of second floor above the facilities was referred to the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs. The Cabinet approved a draft law ratifying the amended protocol to the Convention on Double Taxation Avoidance and the Prevention of Fiscal Evasion with respect to the taxes and income between the Government of Bahrain and the Government of Pakistan and referred it to the Representatives Council. The Cabinet referred the Government's response to a proposal provided by the Representatives Council concerning the exclusion of some supplies from the application of value added. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, delegated his advisor, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, to attend a ceremony hosted by the French Ambassador to Bahrain, Cécile Langer, on the occasion of our country's National Day. His Highness Sheikh Salman conveyed the greetings and congratulations of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to the French leadership and people on the occasion, and his wishes of further progress and prosperity to France. The advisor of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed the deep-rooted relations between the two countries. In the celebration held to mark the French National Day, the French Deputy of Mission expressed his pride in the distinguished historical relations with the Kingdom of Bahrain and their constant progression on all levels. The French community uh, is 1,200 people, first of all, and very enjoyed to, uh, to live here. You know that uh, there, there were a uh, uh, few uh, questions about the French citizen abro abroad from France and the vote said the best place to live abroad is Bahrain. So congratulations. A number of officials and loving friends from Bahrain were happy to celebrate the unique French culture on that special day and sent their warm greetings to the French nation. Uh, a warm bonsoir to all the uh, French uh, community. Uh, very enjoyable event where we get to interact with many members of the French community living in Bahrain for many years. Uh, indeed, uh, we see how rich the French culture is in its music, in its diversity, in its food, um, you know, you name it. And uh, we're very happy to be part of this joyous occasion. Bahraini and French uh, relationship is a strong relationship based on uh, business, on culture, on uh, mutual trade between the two, two uh, countries. We have seen uh, lately uh, the visit of His Majesty the King uh, to Paris uh, and he met with the French President and we look forward uh, to uh, further prosper this relationship to, for, for the benefit of the people of Bahrain and the France. We came because in Bahrain we love each other, we love all the countries and I give thanks to the, uh, his message, message uh, King Hamad because he gave Bahrain to be in the first countries to give uh, love to each other from Bahrain to all the world. 
we are happy to celebrate in 14th of July today with the French people. So we, we are feel like a family together and it's very nice. 120 students in our school and I'm happy working with the French people. Diplomats from different countries were also there to take part in the celebration and expressed sincere happiness and appreciation for the warm environment Bahrain provides for its expat communities. I'm very happy to celebrate the French National Day in Bahrain uh, and uh, it shows also how, uh, how much uh, France and Europe are well rooted in Bahrain and uh, the good relations that Europe enjoys with the Kingdom of Bahrain and its people. We experts feel very much uh, at home in Bahrain. This is the special thing about Bahrain that uh, we feel very much welcome in all the homes uh, of uh, the Bahraini people. And we appreciate so much that uh, the Bahraini people are celebrating uh, our national days together with us and sharing in our joys. Always a good time because we always have a lot of wonderful guests here from Bahrain who celebrate with us, genuinely celebrating our countries as we celebrate our hosts here in Bahrain. We're always so warm and welcoming, so we're very grateful for that. The friendship and partnership between Bahrain and France are strengthened every day in different fields, not only between governments or businesses, but also peoples. The French community in Bahrain celebrate today their food and culture with their Bahraini brothers and friends on their national day. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Hiba Abdul Ghaffour. The Foreign Affairs Minister, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, has stressed that the so called documentary, The Hidden is More Immense, aired by the Qatar based Al Jazeera satellite channel, contained clear appalling lies and fallacies. He said that this is the latest chapter in a series of conspiracies staged by a rogue state against Bahrain and the security and stability of the entire region. He stated that this affirms beyond any doubt that this country has become the most serious threat to the Gulf Cooperation Council, the GCC, as it is seeking to undermine the march, foment strife among its countries and disrupt its unity. The Foreign Minister stressed the need for GCC countries to confront this country's hostile practices and irresponsible conduct and to take all resolute measures to deter it and compel it to respond in a transparent manner to the just demands of boycotting countries and implement the agreements it has signed. He pointed out that this would preserve the GCC and maintain its achievements as well as help attain further development, prosperity and progress for the best interest of its countries and peoples. Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club's Executive Director, Sheikh Salman bin Rashid Al Khalifa, announced that Bahrain will be officially organising its first ever international horse race. This high profile event is scheduled to be held on November the 22nd at Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club in Sakir, with the participation of various owners, trainers, and horses from around the world. The announcement came during Sheikh Salman bin Rashid's media interviews on the sidelines of the prestigious Bahrain Trophy Horse Race held at Newmarket in the UK. Sheikh Salman affirmed that hosting an international horse race for the very first time in Bahrain is considered an unprecedented achievement in the history of Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club. It can be of great benefit to the sport and to Bahrain as a whole as it highlights the country's excellent standing in this field. He added that organising such an international race is within the plans and goals of the club's high committee, which aims to further contribute to the economic, tourism and sporting sectors in the kingdom. An official source at the Information Affairs Ministry described the style adopted by the Qatari Al Jazeera satellite channel in its documentary about Bahrain, The Hidden is More Immense, as a terrorist style that incites hatred, sows division and aims to subvert national unity. The official source stressed that such a style affirms that Qatar is a rogue and terrorist state in word and deed and will inevitably lead to escalating what is happening and even worse and more severe levels.